In 1920, in a small town in England, a little girl discovered that she was captured for life by chemistry and crystals. The enthusiasm of this young girl would soon lead her to become a revolutionary figure in the scientific world. She is Dorothy Hodgkin, the only British woman scientist ever to have won a Nobel Prize. Aged 10, Hodgkin grew her own crystals in primary school. She was captivated and through the years pursued her passionate interest in chemistry and was accepted to Oxford University at 18. Here, her groundbreaking work began. Using a technique called X-ray crystallography, she began to study the structure of organic compounds. Inspired by the first X-ray of a protein crystal, Hodgkin soon began to investigate the 3D structure of insulin. Yet she received a blow when she was diagnosed with chronic rheumatoid arthritis, a horrible disease that causes swelling and pain. But with passion and determination, she continued her studies. She was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1964 for discovering the 3D structure of penicillin and vitamin B12. Even with this success, she never gave up on studying insulin, and for this, her patience was rewarded. After 34 years of study, she had discovered its structure, a crowning triumph in chemistry. Not only being an awe-inspiring scientist, but Hodgkin was also a lifelong activist for world peace and devoted much of her later life to helping scientists in developing countries. Hodgkin's life work has vastly improved our modern day medical research. Take, for instance, vitamin B12, an essential weapon against anemia. We also know the structure of penicillin. This has made the drug much easier to manufacture. And Hodgkin's detailed map of insulin has allowed for vast improvements in the treatment of diabetes. From creating homemade crystals to improving our world of chemical compounds, you must admit, the journey of Dorothy Hodgkin is an impressive one, to say the very least.